All right, here we go again. Thursday in the sports world, September 15th. And here at Odd Chopper, that means it's time for the best play of the day. Ben Raza here bringing you that play, whether it's MLB, NFL tonight, college football tomorrow. We have got you covered. It's going to be a solid slate today. I'm excited to break it all down. If you're checking out for Odd Chopper for the first time, if you've just found us or you watch this video every day, regardless, welcome back. Welcome in general. If you want to support us, hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. I believe that there's a ton of content that you guys are going to like. If you like betting, if you like picks, this is where you want to be. Yesterday, Minnesota Twins need those games, can't have slip-ups. They did just that. Really, really solid effort. They jumped out early. They scored three in the first inning, never looked back. We cashed that first five with ease, and that is what we want. We want to string a bunch of those together. It's been a back-and-forth week for us, so it was nice to get an easy one and set the stage for a really fun Thursday night football game. We got a good bet on this show today. Speaking of good things, Bet MGM. We see it right there on the screen. They're offering their Bet 10 win 200 if either team scores a touchdown for new users. Use the link in the description of this video. What you do, you sign up, you deposit a little money, and then you bet if it's Friday or Saturday, bet college football, any other day, bet you know, NFL games, you pick a game, you bet a team. If you win that bet, great. But if either team scores a touchdown, they give you 200 bucks. So that is just a bankroll boost. Simple as that. You want to take advantage of that. If you're looking for a new book, take advantage of that opportunity. I don't get this one tonight. I ran to the computer when I saw this. And you see it on the screen. So this is now set in stone. Austin Eckler tonight. Over four and a half receptions at minus 115. You see it there. Get to this line now. This is just certain situations. Even if I didn't like this bet, which I do, I would still bet it because the line is stale. Every other book that I'm looking at, I'm on oddshopper.com. I'm looking around for the different books to see, okay, where does this price come in? Where does this fall amongst its peers? It's not even close. Every other book has moved this wildly in terms of the juice. I'll just go through right now, and I, I really don't understand this. Austin Eckler, over four and a half receptions, minus 115 at BetMGM. Everywhere else on my screen, minus 145, minus 146, minus 139, minus 145. 30 plus points of difference. I don't really understand that one. So right now, if you can jump on that, even if it moves and it's going to move, uh, this is capturing some value, and I like this spot now. It doesn't hurt that I actually do like the bet on top of it just being a good bet because the line is wrong. Here we go. Austin Eckler, he had four, four catches, four targets last week in their 24-19 win over the Raiders. This is just a perfect environment, though. They're four-point dogs in a game with a 54-point total against the Kansas City Chiefs team that we know you're going to have to score against. And then you add in that Keenan Allen is not going to be there. He is hurt. It's just more strain on the rest of the playmakers. Herbert's, I mean, he's amazing. He's going to have a game. It's hard not to think that Austin Eckler isn't more involved. Easy tar. Every one of his targets is basically a reception. I'm banking that he certainly sees five or more targets in this game. If they're losing, they could throw the ball 40 plus times. I really don't know how much else there is to say here. It's just a great spot for receptions for Eckler. I expect him and the rest of the pass catchers all to have elevated volume. The difference here is a guy like Mike Williams, when you look at his line, it's pretty even across the board. You're laying massive juice. Uh, Eckler is the one with the massive discrepancy, particularly at BetMGM. So over four and a half receptions at minus 115 is really where I want to look. Looking at the Kansas City defense, I'm not going to really dig into it much. I thought that it's it kind of made Arizona, uh, they made the statement that they were not ready to play. Rather than Kansas City's defense being a juggernaut, they did look good. I will say up front, Chris Jones, they've got they've got weapons. The secondary was intact, but the Chargers offense is going to move the ball. And even if they don't, we can get there not on efficiency, but on volume. That really is the key. The worst situation, and I don't worry about this with Kansas City because they can score so well, would be for the Chargers to control the game from start to finish and Eckler and co. to really get it done on the ground. They get some short fields and they just don't need to throw a lot. But I really do not see that happening here. I love this spot. Over four and a half at minus 115. Sign me up every day. I know this is a plus EV bet. We're going to hopefully cash that ticket. Now, I just want to say again, thanks everybody for supporting these videos. 
I love football. I'm so excited that it's here most days, whether it's college or NFL. We've got you covered here at Odd Chopper. Make sure you subscribe and let's string it together a couple wins. I'm going to duck on out of here. But for me, for Austin Eckler and for all his receptions tonight, good luck. Enjoy the game. And I will talk to you guys soon.